What is going on everyone and welcome back to Dragon Age 2. As you see we have a bunch of quests loading in here. This is all the DLC stuff. For some reason in the last episode I was not connected online and I'm like man I wonder I wonder where all the DLC stuff is. I remember there being a long list of uh, quests that would show up here as you were like almost fighting through this whole thing because there's so many quests. Um, okay so that's all the uh DLC stuff. I believe it's every single little piece of DLC stuff available, like everything possible. Um, all the gear, all the DLC items, Mark of the Assassin, Legacy, um, the Sebastian one, I can't remember his DLC, the short one. And then, yeah, it's just, it's just all of them. So, with that being said, this is episode 2, Dragon Age 2. Um, last episode we did leave off. Um, we assume control of Sendoa Hawk. We are fleeing Lothering. We met up with Aveline here on the way. We, we have mother here. We have her husband. Her husband's wounded. Uh, we have our brother Carver and Bethany with us. And I uh, need to think of a name for dog. So we're, I guess we're fleeing south, even though the Kakari Wilds are south. But we cannot go back the way we just came. We have to keep pushing forward, so... It gets no easier from here. Um, I was doing a little bit of messing with the controllers a bit. It's still very strange to have R as the main shooting ability. Um, not going to happen. Okay. I don't think I can do that. I kind of moved it to the middle mouse button. That. For some reason, this game will not let you use the left click. It will not let you use left click. You can't keybind left click to basic attack. So it's either R. So I just use R or the middle mouse button. It'll work. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. Um, We have a quest up here. It looks like... I don't know. I'm guessing a cutscene will probably trigger here. So everyone is good. I believe everyone's leveled up. We have... I'm going to move my stuff around on the bar here a bit put that to five yeah one mind blast I want mind blast on it really don't matter how's our brother doing good let's put all their passives over here uh, because I will be switching to them quite a bit Get everyone ready. Let's make a save. Okay, let's let's move out. That does not sound good. Make it give me strength. No, Bethany. Oh. Poor, precious little girl, man. Oh my god, why couldn't it be like our brother? Why did it have to be her? <sighs> okay, let's go ahead and Winter's Grasp him. Ooh, I should have moved out of the way on that. Okay, we got Spawn coming in. What I need to do is get Aveline on him. I'm going to taunt. Let's go ahead and get back to Sen. And get out of the way a little bit. Alright, let's keep working on this guy. Alright, for some reason, these guys did not go to her. Um, I don't want to heal, but I guess I have to right now. I kind of want to save it for Aveline. Okay, let's keep working on this gentleman. Alright. Aveline's kind of getting jacked up. I'm going to go ahead and run away with her a bit. Just to kite some guys. Alright, Carver's getting jacked up too. Alright. Let's go ahead and take Aveline, right? I'm going to run her over here. And then with Carver, I'm going to Mighty Blow. Oh yeah! I don't think we can... Okay, we can Pummel Strike him. Very good. 
Alright, so he is almost done. Ogre's almost down. Okay, Ogre's down. Now we can work on getting him out the picture. Okay, he's done. Alright, we got a little bit more guys coming in. I want to heal. But I want to save it. I think we'll be alright if we save it. If we kind of pick these guys off as they're coming. Alright, the one with the shield. Let's go ahead and throw a Winter's Grasp at him. Keep on working on these small guys. This is barely doing anything to this guy. Alright, our heal is almost on deck. We'll have to hit Aveline with it. Because she's taunting. Let me go ahead and get some space. Uh, what do you think? Um, let's work on this gentleman. Our heal's on deck. Let's go ahead and heal Aveline. Alright, Aveline, hang in there. Should I heal, brother? Alright, Carver, go ahead and take a potion. Um, I'm gonna mighty blow this gentleman. No, let's mighty blow this one. Good night. Alright, Aveline has seen better days. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and kite with her a little bit. Maybe our guys can take... Alright, how is this guy's health? Let's go ahead and just... Back me up or you lose me. I know, I know. I'm working on you. I'm trying. Alright, her attacks are just... not too good. Alright, she taunted. Um, We got one that's good. We really need her to hightail it a bit. Go ahead over here, and I really need to work on the guys that is following her. Alright, this guy's done. Hang in there, Eveline. You're so close, you almost had it. Go ahead and move over here now. Let's get Carver in the mix. Alright, he is pretty much done, Aveline. Hang in there. We just got the grunt following Aveline. Okay. Um, I cannot heal her yet. Almost there, guys. I got you, girl. You're not going nowhere, so don't worry. Alright, Aveline, go ahead and run over here. I will heal you in a, just a second. Alright, let's go ahead and heal Aveline. Woo! Back at him! At a girl. Bethany, Woo! Wake up. Oh the no, guys. Fine. I'm sorry, mistress. Your daughter is gone. No. I can't believe Beth is gone, These man. Things will not take Bethany. She's such she is such a beautiful soul, guys. Bethany is such just she has one of the most beautiful personalities, and she's one of the most loved characters in Dragon Age. It's such a shame that, as a mage, you can never never keep her. I wish we could. She's absolutely one of my favorite. Now, with Carver, Carver has such a great story arc as well. His story arc is probably the best in this game. But Bethany all around is just so... She's so awesome. And it's a shame, man. To say him that she uh, died right there. I wish we could have did something, guys. I wish we could have stepped in front of her, but maybe we should grieve when we're safe. Don't speak to me of grief, mother. This is your fault. How could you it let her charge off like that? Oh, my poor little girl, my sweetheart. If we stand here weeping, the darkspawn will take the rest of us too. Allow me to commend your daughter's soul to the Maker, mistress. Ashes we were, and ashes we become. Maker, give this young woman a place at your side. Let us take Damn comfort it, in the peace she has found. In a it's very heartwarming to hear a Templar say that. I will never forget you, Bethany. He seems to be a good soul, a good man. Damn it, guys. I'm heartbroken right now. It's been so long since I've seen this, it kind of actually caught me off guard. Well, I guess one thing is sure about Sen, we can keep our, uh, keep our wits. And try to make everyone feel better with a couple words here and there. At least Father will have company now. 
<laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think? <laughs> Flames. We're too late. Okay, I'm going to do something real quick. I need to, I meant to do it before I started this episode, I want to turn up the dialogue, just one. It was a little low when I edited episode one. Uh, music and sound effects are about fine. I think that should be good now. Okay, we have one potion for this. Let's see if we can get some distance. Okay, that's not good there. We're, we're surrounded by all sides. Let's go ahead and just take these guys out as much as we can. As fast as we can. Oh, not good. Um. Beth. Ah, uh, Beth. Okay, Abilene already taunted. Okay. Let's go ahead and work on this gentleman. We have one potion for somebody. Um. Okay, Carver's getting jacked up. I'm gonna heal myself. And then I'm gonna take this last potion with Carver. I hope so. <laughs> Hang in there, Carver. Alright. Let's take out the bolters. Winter's Grasp. How's everyone doing? Carver, you're not doing too well, buddy. Oh, that's it. Woo! I was getting a little scared there, guys. I won't even lie. Hello. Good evening, madam. <laughs> Look at her with that walk. I, uh, Carver, pick up your jaw, my man. Well, well, what have we here? <laughs> Sounds a little familiar, does it not? Damn, look at Wesley. He is we just... We never got visitors look at his veins. Wild, but now it seems they arrive in hordes. <laughs> I would love to be a dragon. That was quite a wonderful trick there. Whoever you are. Bird woman, I guess. I mean, look at her. Look at her. <laughs> look at her shoulders. Her, her armor is just legit. Oh my goodness. Impressive. Where'd you learn how to turn into a dragon? Perhaps I am a dragon. Ooh. If so, count yourself lucky. The smell of burning darkspawn does nothing for the appetite. If you wish to flee the darkspawn, you should know you are heading in the wrong direction. So Them eyes, though. Leave us here. Them yellow eyes are such an intriguing thing, is it not? And why not? I know I, I overthink a lot of stuff. Curious sight. A mighty ogre vanquished. Who could perform such a feat? But now my curiosity is sated and you are safe for the moment. Is that not enough? Um... Your curiosity is sated. My curiosity is not sated yet. <laughs> I want to know what the hell you are and how the hell you're a dragon. You could show me that trick of yours. That looks useful. <laughs> I dare say it is. Such a clever tongue for a mage. Tell me, Ooh. clever child, how do you intend to outrun the Blight? We're going to Kirkwall, in the Free Marches. Kirkwall? My, but that is quite the voyage you plan. So far, simply to flee the Darkspawn. Hmm. That's definitely a bit safer than here. That is for sure. I always just wondered why Mother even wants... She said she's, we got family there, of course, so... Uh, when 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 Shite hits the fan like this, who else would you allow on your family, of course, so... Yeah. Any better suggestions? I hear the deep roads are vacant now. 
Oh, you I like. I like you too. What do you Perfect say we go ahead in the back here? Fight, and the world will shake before you. Scent is a very uh. Too much chance. I can never decide. How can I even explain Sen? He's witty, of course, but he is a very. It appears fortune smiles on us both today. I may be able to help you yet. A very active male, so to speak. <laughs> he does not discriminate dragons or whatever she is. <laughs> this woman. Yeah, yeah. Let's just say he's very active. I'm gonna put it that way. There must be a catch. <laughs> there is always a catch. Life is a catch. I suggest you catch it while you can. Oh my gosh, she's Should so we creepy. Even trust her? We don't even know what she is. I know what she is. The Witch of the Wilds. Some Evelyn. call me that. Also Flemeth. Asha Bellinar. An old hag who talks too much. <laughs> Does it matter? I offer you this. I will get your group past the Horde in exchange for a simple delivery to a place not far out of your way. Would you do this for a Witch of the Wilds? There's always a catch, guys. <laughs> Just like she said, there is always a freaking catch. So she's offering to help us, but in turn we have to do something for her. We don't have much of a choice, but I still would like to th like to see what other people think, for, for one. Should we trust her? Wesley is injured. We'll never escape the Darkspawn. If you need to. Oh my leave me goodness, behind. poor Wesley, look at him. No. I said I would drag you out if I had to, and I meant it. Alright, why don't we dig a little bit more? I'm not satisfied with what the hell is going on here. I definitely want to know more about her. What is a witch of the wilds exactly? Or it. A chastened legend. That. Witches that steal children. Bah. As if I had nothing better to do. Then you're an apostate. Yes. We have so much in common. <laughs> you still haven't shown me how to be a dragon, though. We'd have a little bit more in common if you did that. You would go through all that trouble to have something delivered. I have an appointment to keep. It is far more convenient this way. Happily, you are not without your own needs. Okay, so we do know that this is Flemeth. I wonder what appointment she is telling us, guys, that she has to keep. There's, well, there's many things that come to mind. But I just don't know fully yet, and I don't really want to discuss it because it could possibly be any spoilers. So we'll just leave it at that. How much trouble will this delivery be exactly? About as much trouble as my saving your lives, not five minutes ago. <laughs> she does have a point there. Good point. <laughs> if you knew my daughter, you'd know how seldom I hear that. your daughter huh well I think it is wise to go ahead and accept her offer here we'd be stupid not to for now his first thing is wanting to get his family to say that we already lost Bethany we can't lose Carver we can't lose mother it looks like Wesley is about to kick the bucket here shortly poor guy roast a few more darkspawn I'll do anything you want sadly my charity is at an end there is a clan of Dalish elves near the city of Kirkwall. Deliver this amulet to their keeper, Marathari. Do as she asks with it, and any debt between us is paid in full. Before I take you anywhere, however, there is another matter. <coughs> no, leave Damn him alone. It, Bioware. Two what has been done to people your already is within his blood already. You lie. She speaks the She's truth, right, Evelyn. Evelyn. I can feel the corruption inside me. What are you talking about? From the dark spawn. All that blood. I knew when it happened. And how much time before you? 
Not long now, if I am any judge. That's rough, man, to lose your husband like that, and we lost our sister. I, I still can't believe Beth is gone. It's still mind-blowing to me that I know one of them has to be, has to go, but I, God, I wish. I still want to keep everyone alive, and it's so heart-wrenching sometimes, <laughs> but it makes the game so much better. So, so, so much better. This corruption is the permanent sort, I take it. The only cure I know of is to become a Grey Warden. And they all died at Ostagar. <laughs> Not all, but the last are now beyond your reach. Yeah. Garbo did not go down. Avalee, Garbo and Alistair. <laughs> listen to me. You can't ask me this. I won't. Please. The corruption is a slow death. I can't. Um... I would like to help her and say I'll do it, but it's her husband. You know what I mean? She seems like an incredibly strong woman. You know? She seems like the type that would want to take action into her own hands. Like, it's her husband. She wants to deal with it. You know what I mean? I feel like we should give her the option to that. Do it ourselves. We don't know the man. We're doing the her an injustice by doing that, so... Um... It's, it's definitely up to you, Aveline. He's your husband, Aveline. I can't decide his fate. Poor girl. Be strong, my love. Without an end, there can be no peace. Truer words it never gets been spoken. No easier. Your struggles have only just begun. Flemeth. Flemeth. I thought that might interest <laughs> you. You expect me to believe a myth swooped out of the wild to save the champion? Oh, come now, Seeker. Do I need to recite the tale of the Warden as well? Please! No. Perhaps I shouldn't be surprised to hear of her involvement. Please I liked my tell that tale. Better too. What else aren't you telling me then? Did she send someone with the champion? In a matter of speaking. So it's true. Continue. But if you tell me they all flew to Kirkwall on a dragon... Nothing so fanciful, I assure you. The witch kept her word, and got them to Guaran, where they took ship. They sailed north across the waking sea, lashed by terrible storms. Two weeks they spent in that dark hold, packed in with the fearful and the desperate. And then they saw it. Kirkwall, the city of chains. Mm. Long ago, it was part of the Imperium. Slaves coming from far and wide to work the quarries. Now, it's a free city. But I use the word loosely. Sail through those black cliffs and you'll see what the slaves of old saw. The gallows. Welcoming you. That's where their ship landed. With all the rest. Well, City of Chains, my friends. We read a little bit about it in the uh, library at the Circle Town. We also know that this place is... <laughs> it oppresses the hell out of mages, for one. We heard about the... Um, what, what was this like? This is where they, to venture kept slaves? 
Pretty much so. This is not a pretty place, guys. Still don't know why Mother wanted to go here, but... <laughs> Mother is in charge. And we also have family here, so I'm guessing that's why. Like I said, we latch on to family when times are in peril. I can't wait to just walk around Kirkwall. I've, I've missed this so much. Like, this game, oh man. They're not letting anyone into the city. What? That can't be. It's true. Look at them all. Hmm. We'll have to push our way through if we have to then, Evelyn. You think? <laughs> are we really surprised? Everyone's fleeing the blight. Just as we are. And they would throw us all back to the wolves. Unbelievable. I guess it is understandable. If the city is like overpacked with, with people and refugees, there's not much they can do. So I guess I understand, but... Hmm. I'm only surprised they let us dock. We need to find Gamlin. Our family has always been highly regarded in Kirkwall. He can do something, I'm sure of it. Let's hope he received your letter. The guards seem to be reporting to that man. Perhaps we should speak to him. Alright, so it looks like we got a little bit of approval from Aveline from what we did. Let her deal with her husband. Let's get Dog out. I also figured out how to run, by the way. Or... Uh, maybe not. <laughs> okay, we have anything over here? Let's go ahead and tab the area. No, nothing. Oh, the water looks pretty good for how old it is. Okay, let's get talk to this gentleman. To crowd, you lot. Trying to bully your way through won't get you into Kirkwall. Excuse any me, madam. But oh, sir, I'm sorry. Let us in. <laughs> <laughs> we have enough poor of our own in the free marches. We don't need you refugees piling up here like a midden's heap. Okay, let's ask some questions here. I heard someone call this fortress the Gallows. Is it a prison? Used to be. Back in the Imperial days, they kept slaves here until the Rebellion. Now the Templars run Sickening. it and use it to lock up their mages. Guess not much has changed. <laughs> Everyone so hates mages in this, in this, in this world, in Thetis. Some of them merit it. Some of them deserve a lot of hate that they, that they get, but not all of them do. Bethany is for one, a mage that doesn't deserve any hate. Are mages imprisoned here? Well, no more than anywhere else. It's a circle of magi now. Magic is to serve man, not rule him. And mages are better locked up where they don't hurt anyone. Yeah, uh, you're better off in the pond over there. Or ocean. Why aren't we being allowed into the city? If it were up to me, I'd bar the gates and let you find somewhere else to beg. But it's not. Some of you Ooh, lot might have okay. legitimate business in the city. So Knight Commander Meredith wants us to sort you all out. Most of you are getting right back on your ships, though. Okay, maybe we can actually bypass this guy and talk to somebody else. That's a Templar title. Why would a city guardsman answer to the Templars? We don't answer to her, but she's the power in Kirkwall. Don't know what would happen if the Viscount went against something she wanted. Hmm. But he's sure never taken that chance. He says we don't answer to her, like... He was a little uneasy at saying that, so obviously they do answer to her. Undercover answer to her, it would seem. So maybe the Templars have a bit of a lot of power here in Kirkwall. That's not good, considering we're a darn mage. There must be someone in charge I can speak with. <sighs> yes, yes, always the same story. You want in, talk to Captain Yuald. I'm just here to keep you refuse from climbing the walls. Okay, so talk to Captain Yuld, he says. Let's go find Yuld and talk to him. I'm a little uneasy being here as a mage. And it's it's such a crazy story if, if Hawk is a mage too. That's another reason why I absolutely love Hawk as a mage. It's just so in your face type of, sh type of stuff, you know what I mean? Like, like you want to touch me, but you cannot. You just can't touch me. Even if you wanted to try to touch me, you still couldn't try to touch me. It's hard to explain, but you guys will see. We'll all see together. Eat some food. There's fish right there. There's a huge, 
I keep wanting to call it a pond. There's a huge river there. Go ahead and eat. Fish. Tell me, how did your family escape Lothering? Almost everyone who hadn't fled. My brother. If he wasn't with us, I don't think we'd be here. But you seem quite skilled as well. I'm not my brother. He is... <laughs> Carver's a good man. It's hard for our younger brother to walk in the shadows of an older brother's powerful ascent here, no doubt. Um, yeah. I, I adore Carver, though, I really do. He's absolutely one of my favorite in this game. I, there, I actually, I have no uh, uh, unfavorite, or what's the word? I, I have no companions that I dislike in this game. Maybe one that I don't agree with, but we'll get to all that. Okay, let's go talk to this gentleman here. Okay. Sometimes if you walk up too close, you miss the dialogue, so it's good to stay back a little bit. Let us through, you flaming blighter. We're not staying in this pit. <laughs> flaming blighter. Get back on your ship and leave. <laughs> Kirkwall has no more room for refugees. The ship's already gone. We paid good coin to get here. You and half of Ferelden. There's nothing I can do. The city is full. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Um, we have a star here. I don't know what the star means. Maybe it's uh, because we now know that a guard told us something. Maybe it's kind of uh, a persuasion in a way, but not really. Uh, maybe it's truthful information that we gathered that we could throw at him. But I'm still going to go ahead with our sarcastic marks a bit more. Surely there's a bit of extra room for the pretty people. I find keeping my neck away from Knight <laughs> Commander Meredith Blade damn more pretty attractive sad. than any of you. We've been letting you for Reldon's in for months. You're too late. There's no more room. But we've got family here. I've heard claims like that a thousand times already. Trust me. We'll find some ships to take you all back to Ferelden eventually. Until then, you stay here. Um, I believe this is also from, see it's purple like, the sarcastic. I wish I knew what some of these symbols meant. If you find our uncle, Gamlin Amel, you might just have a few less refugees bothering you. Gamlin? I know that name. Yeah. He's a nobleman here in the city. Our family has an estate. A nobleman? The only gamlin I know is a weasel who couldn't rub two coppers together. He comes back, I'll bring you to him. But I don't have time to... What? You're gonna let them through? I didn't say anything about... We've been here for four days! They just got here! That's it! We're carving our way out of here! Men! Oh! I knew this time for some exercise, it seems! <laughs> okay. Um... We got dog in a mix. Let's go ahead and take care of Archer here. Take care of the little guys. Winter's grasp. He's done. Okay, we gotta watch out because friendly fire. He will just stun us completely and throw all his. He'll keep throwing his stuff at us nonstop. Not meaning to. Okay, he's done. Let's go ahead and take this Archer out as well. All right, how's everyone's health going? Carver, you doing good? Look, I mean, we're using magic right here in the courtyard, and they don't even... <laughs> Let's work on the leader a little bit. Okay, there's guards in the mix. Alright, Aveline. Switch to Aveline a bit. She's poking away. Let's go ahead and take that off. Okay, see what I mean about the friendly fire? He's he's not meaning to do it, but it's just doing it. Alright, I'm going to switch to Carver. Booyah! Eat that! Right, let's go ahead and heal Carver up a little bit. Oh, I think I healed myself. Not good. <laughs> Making the world a better place one enemy at a time, he says. Oof, we're gonna go down here. Okay, this guy. Hang in there, Hulk! 
Uh, I don't have any potions, unfortunately. Oh, we almost made it. Oh, good. Good night. Unbelievable. <laughs> Captain, Ooh. are you all right? I am. No thanks to you. Where is everyone? The cooldown on heal is a I bit long. Under control. Isn't it? You have my thanks. Look, I can't get you into the city. It's not my decision. But I'll find your uncle and bring him here. Yeah, the cooldown on heal is a bit ridiculous in this game. I, I totally understand. It's going to be a little bit better once we get a uh, group heal as well. It'll be all right. We'll be all right. It's been three days. This waiting has to end. I'm sure it won't be much longer. Gamlin must still be looking for us. And if he's not, don't look now. But I think that's our man. <laughs> Gamlin. Leandra, damn girl, the years haven't been kind to I you. I love that Gamlin. he's changed a little bit since we changed our hawk. That's very cool. Let me say up front, I wasn't expecting this. The Blight, your husband, dead. I'd uh, figured you'd pretty much be Ferelden for life. Oh, Gamlin, we came too late. My darling Bethany didn't make it. I'm dressed oh, in Gamlin. man. Oh, make her save me. Leandra, don't drop this on me here. I don't even know if I can help you get in. Let's work some charm on old uh, uncle, shall we? Would it help if I said you were my favorite uncle? <laughs> It'd make me feel better, but that's <laughs> about it. I was hoping to grease some palms, but the knight commander's been cracking down. We're gonna need more grease. But what about the estate? Surely father left something when he died? Right, uh, about the estate. It's, um, gone. To settle a debt. I've been meaning Ooh. to write you. Then there's no hope. N not quite. I know some people who might help. Uncle seems like yeah, a sly dog, does he too not? Delicate about the company you keep. If we're not too delicate about the company we keep, he says. Uncle seems a bit sly. Supposedly he's supposed to be a noble and has that we have an estate here. He was the one that was given the estate. So Yeah. Mother said our family was wealthy. You really can't help us. I am blighted helping. I've got two offers of work from people who've got the coin to open those gates. I still can't believe you sold the estate. Gamlin, how could you? Well, I didn't expect your blasted family to show up on my doorstep. I've got a nice place in Lowtown. You'll see, it'll all work out. Do we need to stay in Kirkwall? Let's go to another city. This was my home. I can't believe they won't let me come back. Every city on we the can try to force our way in, I guess. In since the blight. You could that try won't go over well, though. Inland, I suppose, but it won't be easy. We're not putting Mother through that. We came here. We're staying here. I agree with you, Carver. 100%. 100%. I don't want to drag Mother through that again. What she had to see is just... A mother should never watch her children die in front of their face died in her arms so mother's been through a lot yes you're right let's hear it uncle what do you have in mind i talked to my contacts and i found some people who might be willing to pay your way into the city the catch is you and your brother will have to work off the debt for a year a year it's the best i could do Trust me when I say a bunch of refugees won't get a better option anywhere else. Hmm. So, what, he's serving us, or sending us into what? What do they call it? Indentured servitude? Jeesh. I'm sure we'll be free and clear before we know it. I managed to convince my contacts to come to the gallows to meet you personally. Miran heads up the mercenary company, the Red Iron. They're looking for recruits. A Thenril. I guess you might call her a smuggler. Either one of them can help you. All you need to do is find them in the courtyard and convince them you're worth the trouble. Uh yeah, let's ask Carver what he wants. What he what what he thinks about all of this. He is a brother, he's He played a big part in us leaving Lothering as well. So 
It would be nice if we can ask Aveline as well, because she is now part of us. Part of the family, I would think. Kind of. In her own way. What do you think about this, Carver? What can I say? Better here than nowhere. Agreed, agreed. Alright, let's ask about the mercenaries and the smugglers. What kind of man is this, Miran? He's a hired sword. What do you expect him to be like? I wouldn't bring him home for dinner or anything, but he's got a decent reputation. I wouldn't have asked him if I thought he'd cross you. <laughs> All right, Uncle. Yeah, yeah. How dangerous is this? I don't think I believe work? him on that one. Well, it won't be pretty working for her. She's a pretty small fish compared to some of the other thieves' guilds around here. But she's tough, she's fair, and she never deals in slaves or flesh. All right. Let's move out then. Let's go. Let's go talk to him. Let's find them and see what they have to say. Oh, Gamlin, I don't know about this. It's a lot of coin, Leandra. Don't go expecting our name to carry the kind of weight it used to. And what of me? I will not allow others to incur debts on my behalf. <laughs> Can't see that it makes a difference. You look like a lady who can pull her own weight. Then you'll come with us. I have no real option. Thank you. Okay, very cool stuff, guys. Um, I, we have an injury here. I don't think there's... I don't believe we have an injury kit. Do we? We do. Can we put it down here anywhere? Okay. Let's go ahead and take that. We need to be careful. Um, injuries in this game are severe. They are... They're really severe stuff. By the way, it can really... You can really... It can really stack up if you don't have enough. But, I was so going for the achievement, uh, making our first year without an injury, but yeah, we uh, sadly did not do that. <laughs> it's okay, but with that being said, I think I'm actually going to save here and end the episode on that note. When we come back, we'll make the decision to work with, um, I guess, either the mercenary gentleman or the smuggler woman. Now, I might actually also try to play some angles with that as well. You know, sense kind of a... Uh, how do I even explain him? He's such a jokester, you know what I mean? Like, he don't really take stuff serious, but he does take stuff serious. So we're going to try to see if we can work some angles and, you know, <laughs> kind of play one and then fall into the other one. I don't know, maybe make some more money out of the deal or something like that. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But with that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever it is. Until episode three of Dragon Age 2, take it easy, my friends.